Anyway, all right, yeah, all right. Spades, bring us in. Welcome to the NGP, the Newgrounds Audio Podcast. Host, your hosts today are Zinzinix and Voices by Corey, announced by Spader. Okay, who's the guest? Yeah, who's the guest, bro? <laughs> guest, guest, <Jesus> guest <laughs> appearance, <laughs> guest appearance featuring Doggle. Finally, somebody Welcome. pronounces it correctly. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Voices by Corey and Zinzinix. Welcome, everybody, to the New Grounds Podcast. I'm Voices by Corey. I'm joined today with a good buddy, Zin Zinix. Say hi, Zin. <laughs> hi, Zin. <laughs> <laughs> we, also, we also got our other good buddy, Spazer, here with us. Hey. Hello. And Hello. then, of course, we have another very special guest on the episode today. He goes by the name of Dogecoin. Say, hey, Dogecoin. How you doing, Gee, man? Bill, two intros? That's amazing. <laughs> Because I screwed the first one up. <laughs> no, that's going to be like our intro before the actual intro. So okay. it's going to sound like really cool, you know? Well, let's got a third one in there. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is the Newgrounds Podcast. I'm Doggle, <laughs> your host. I'm joined here by my three guests, Spadezer, voices by Corey and Zin Zinnick. So say hi, right. guys. Thank- hey, hey, what's hey, up, Hey, Doggle, man? thanks for having us, man. We're glad, we're glad to, be, to be on your show today. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Zin, you got to go for the fourth. Uh, okay, uh, welcome... <laughs> New Gods podcast. <laughs> There's a gif of this kid getting, getting kicked in the so back hard, in chat, dude. and it's so <laughs> fucking distracting. Welcome to the New Grounds podcast. Uh, welcome to podcast New Grounds. Fuck. Uh, welcome to New Grounds. Uh, the. Um, welcome I'm joined Tom today by <laughs> Doggle. I'm Corey. Thank you, Spadzer. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> welcome we to go. New Grounds podcast at Pornhub dot com. Yeah, I right. just signed up for a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Spazer was just looking for the bathroom. Hold on, I need to change (laughs) outfits here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right, I'm broadcasting here. Get out of here. All right, this is too much. Too much. All right, let's tone it down. Doggle. Who the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are? Well, uh, I'm kind of trying to figure that out myself. So thanks for thanks for asking. But. Uh, I'm Doggle. We all. I'm a I'm a Newgrounds boy. Uh, my my real name is Logan. Logan Calderwood. Um, uh, I'm a you New just Grounds. put your government name out there like that? Yeah, it's, wow. it's out. It's online. Everything. Listen, everybody's got their name out there somewhere. I might as well just get ahead of the curve. Um, ahead of the curve. But yeah, I've, uh, I'm a Newgrounds dude. I've been using it for three or four years now, and. Uh, you guys have me on the podcast. That's basically everything about me. As I'm not special, and also, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and you you're hired. Have, but you do have magnificent hair, so you have that going for you. Yes, well. my hair is pretty good. That is true. <laughs> no, Why did you, you got to bring that up, dude? I don't think I anything else it, about me is as magnificent. Uh, haven't you no. haven't you seen the pictures of his glorious, <laughs> luscious, long curly locks? Yeah. I've drawn it. I've drawn his hair. <laughs> yeah. I've drawn his accomplishments, but uh, the hair is the best one. Yeah. Okay. What do you think is the most memorable feature of you? Hair. The hair. Look at this. That's it. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else besides the hair. Look at this all hair. Right, Doggo will be remembered for his hair. It doesn't matter about the, all the audio he has, the three D work he's been doing. It doesn't yeah. matter about on, anything. Listen, I put on some Axe hairspray, and women have been following it everywhere like a commercial. I don't got that much going for me. <laughs> I'm gonna ollie out of life at like twenty five, and I'm gonna be recognized and remembered for my hair, and also maybe my teeth. But that's about it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is the most memorable moment? that you've made on new grounds because you've done a lot there's a lot of voice acting in there there's also that band you made with little box i don't know oh, what you think about little box little box and Carmet. uh and Carmet. i want to make sure that he's getting some love and attention because he did basically all the bass for uh <coughs> for uh for george washington carver um most memorable new grounds moment yeah 
sriracha. That's fucking. That's fucking hard. Do you mean like most memorable project or most mo- most memorable moment on the site or with my friends or like? What? Okay, so let's say tomorrow you're unable to ever go on new grounds and make anything ever again. What is the most memorable thing to you that you have made and put on new grounds? Is just the number one thing that stuck out to you? <sighs> This uh, this answer kind of sucks because I'm not the biggest I'm not the biggest fan of the cartoon anymore. But the uh, definite biggest uh, memorable thing would have to be a cartoon I voiced for for like or voiced for like three years ago called Dragon Pal Z, animated by Carmen as well. Um, because that was the first voice role I ever got that got me some <clears throat> some quite a bit of recognition and a lot of people were talking about that shit just being like whoa vegeta that's dope uh <laughs> yeah. it was uh it was the first online thing that i voiced for that actually had some uh some recognition to it and i remember being completely like wiped out with like what the fuck is going on uh because it was the first thing i had ever voiced for and it got like a cumulative 100,000 views, not from the cartoon itself, but from a bunch of people, excuse me, a bunch of uh, like Dragon Ball Z YouTubers reacting to it as different characters. Oh, that's uh, cool. I remember there's this dude named Prince Vegeta who fucking, who reacted to the cartoon as Vegeta. And the cartoon is about Vegeta and Goku being kind of like you know gay and fooling around <laughs> and having fun. Classic and, Newgrounds. <laughs> and it's Vegeta. He's got a pretty good Vegeta impression, but he's like just he's, it's just Vegeta reacting to Vegeta, and it's the most odd thing. He's like, I wouldn't do that. I'm it's for the entire. It's like fifteen minutes. It's a fifteen fucking minute video or something like that. It Wait, what was like your was what minutes. was your role though? What what voice? I was did Vegeta. You play? I played Vegeta, and my buddy Sword Gray Fire played Goku. And nice. you had to you had to come on to that's wait hold on you had, you had to be gay. So <laughs> <You had> to, <laughs> no, like, what did you the, have to say? Give us give us some samples for anyone who hasn't seen that because okay, so I haven't seen it. You are actually I actually haven't done. No, I just don't know how to phrase it. I don't know how to say. Oh, you had to come on to Goku because that just sounds like like adult rated. No, it wasn't. It wasn't new that grounds. type. Of, it wasn't that type of Newgrounds cartoon. Um, it was much more innocent. It was more like a weird, goofy, playful sort of thing, <laughs> where Vegeta and Goku are like running around a rock, and we're like, "Oh, I'm gonna get you!" <laughs> like, some stupid stuff like that. Um. <laughs> yeah. It was just you a, said a, hmm. you said three years ago, so that was like you was joined Newgrounds in 2018. So that would have yeah. been like one of your first interactions on yeah. Newgrounds. The first actual thing that I voiced for, I believe, was a animation jam with Brandy Weasel and a few other of my pals, um, but not as like a voice actor, more as a as a music thing because uh, I I used to play ukulele a whole bunch. That was basically the only instrument I played, and I made a little. Uh, made a little ukulele song for Brandy and he put that in his cartoon and it sucked. <laughs> and it sucked. What what even brought you new grounds in the first place? That's a fun story. Uh Is it? Is it? <laughs> no, not really. Um 15 sure... years old little doggle traveling no, out of new grounds got a act, voice act as gay Vegeta. 15 and a half. <laughs> um <sighs> It's really stupid. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a news post about it, I believe, but it didn't go too in depth. Um, I was still in high school at the time, and uh, I was really bored. I had no friends because I was I, I've been online schooled for basically the entirety of high school, or I was online schooled for the entirety of high school, and uh, I moved away from my hometown. Uh, for the first time like ever and I wasn't talking to my two best friends really ever at all and I was like damn this shit sucks uh, and I was watching a lot of Oni plays and Game Grumps dude <laughs> funny men wow. YouTube funny men they're so cool um, yeah and I was watching Oni plays <laughs> and he was playing Newgrounds games and I was like damn I haven't thought about Newgrounds since I was like nine or eight <laughs> When I was like first on, like when I first got online and was able to do online shit, uh, 
I use new grounds, but that's another story. Um, and and you like, had your wait, you had your first username too, right? My first username on Newgrounds was something stupid like Lego Official. Uh, <laughs> Lego Official. <laughs> again, I'll get into that. that. I'll get into that in a second. <laughs> um, but I, I saw that video of Ioni plays, and I, <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Oh damn, this is pretty." I haven't thought about Newgrounds in a long time. I just remember getting everything bland, and it was full of a lot of school shooting cartoons and games. And I kind of just used Congregate and Armor Games so I could play Bloons Tower Defense. Um, <laughs> and then they played a game called Blacks Only. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? You can't do that. That's insane. And I checked the, checked the site out and it looked completely different from how I remembered it when I was a kid. And I was like, hmm, Herm, uh, I wonder if they got a Discord server. And luckily, uh, the fates were on my side. Because the Dragon Ball Z collab had just come out, and that got like transformed into the official Newground server years and years ago. Uh, Wait, that's the know. origin story of the Newgrounds server, the, the original, unofficial. The, no, the original, the actual official original Newground server. Wait, the one that's deleted ago. now? Yeah, that's been deleted for years. Um, um, do you I know why that got deleted? I do, <laughs> for the most Ooh, part. Story time. On uh, air, on air, say no. it on air. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't, I can't talk about that because I might get my ass beat. But it just was, tell me uh, who it involves. I'm just kidding. Let's. All right, we can move on. <laughs> Almost had it. If you want to hear more about oh, that, you no can ask. Ozzy. You can ask a, a, a previous. Was he a member or a, a help to this? Uh, Ninja Muffin ninety nine. You can ask him. Oh, of um, course, Cam knows. Also, Blacks Only, which is a game by Ninja yeah, Muffin. So, continuing to lead on from that i saw blacks only i was like what the fuck you can't do that you can't do that so you can't blacks out. only i was like hell? Mm. i checked out new grounds i was like oh this is pretty fun there's a lot of like cartoons and animation and shit and i've been getting into art and animation a lot more um i had uh started some 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 training with myself uh just getting myself better at fucking 2d animation and drawing and shit like that forcing myself to uh to progress but i was not really uh <laughs> sorry somebody sent the screenshot no um, shall shall <laughs> keeps messing with you <laughs> got got distracted uh, uh I, 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 was, I wasn't really getting shall. wasn't really getting anywhere i wasn't motivated to draw i would draw like every fucking few months um saw new grounds i'm i'm making this real real long Saw Newgrounds, found the Newgrounds Discord server, came on, saw that the creator of Blacks Only was one of the moderators of the official original Newgrounds server, and I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, hey, Doggle. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> and from there, uh, it's history. Um, That's it? I mean, it's a, it's a long, long story. I remember a lot of very minute kind of dumb details. I remember as soon as I joined, uh, a lot of people were talking and hanging out, and Cam... Uh, Ninja Muffin 99 was a really cool dude. Found myself talking to him a bit more. <clears throat> Joined a few calls and whatnot. Uh, did my first ever draw pile with my brand new ta- tablet. My uh, It was a Parblo, a shitty off-brand Russian tablet that I got at the time. Um, and me, Ninja Muffin 99, Brandy Buizel, Logan Fresh, and a few others started watching movies like almost nightly on the official Newground server. And uh, I believe we started with Zoom, the shitty Tim Allen movie, and we watched Hoodwinked. We watched Hoodwinked and a few other movies. And at the same time, I was building a desk. And yeah, that's basically all that was going on at the beginning. Wow. Okay. Well, young doggle. And then you've grown up because, um, I don't know, it's been three fucking years. And yeah. the only reason I even came into contact with you, with you was because you were hanging around with all these other people that like were affluent, new grounds, kind of like kooky characters, I yeah, guess. I don't even a... know how to put it. Like, Where did you come from when it comes to my perspective? Because I don't even really know. I just saw you talk with everyone. And the thing that I got introduced <laughs> to you by was your voice acting. Yeah. And there's this... There's this um, Uh-oh. This voice pack you did for like a yeah. fighting game where you're like, huh, yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. And you're like, this is <laughs> this is free to use. I'm like, this is genius. <laughs> I'm like, I love this. I wanna I wanna see what else this guy has. And then that it turns like, out that you 
You ended up doing some voice acting for Zerrell, 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 which is uh, one of my favorite animators from when I was younger too. Because I just had, call him he, Josh. He's cool. You call him what? His name is Josh. His name's Josh. Josh. That doesn't sound cool. <laughs> Zerrell. <laughs> he's a cool guy. That's, um, I, I don't know exactly how we met. I, I'm pretty sure you popped in around when the uh, when Pico Day happened, like a year or two ago. And me and Cam and a few others from a little friend group <laughs> that we all have uh, decided to just spam the entirety of Newgrounds and make a new official Newgrounds server. I think that's when I saw you first, I think. Um, oh yeah, that unofficial Newgrounds the, server. The, the first unofficial Newgrounds server that got nuked and then a new one was created by RGP Anims. Um, yes. So yeah, that, yep. that first official one with like the 50 people that were in the call watching the Pico Day stream and all that. Uh, yeah, I think that was the first time I saw you. What is it What is it like growing up on Newgrounds? Like, it's it's weird for me to say that, but I, I like fucked off when I was 13. And then when I was like 23, I came back. So like to all well, 10 years. It's kind so of what's it like? Me. What's it like being young on Newgrounds and then meeting all these people that you're like, damn, bro, these people make shit. No, and then now the- <laughs> you're three years into it. Like, how do you feel now from when you started? Because a lot of people don't know how to respect that kind of perspective. Like they don't know where to start and then they, mm. they don't know what it progresses into. It, I mean, it's kind of the same for me because as I was, I was as I was saying, when I was like eight, I popped on Newgrounds and I would make shitty stop motion shit uh, with this dumbass digital camera or with uh, with my uh, best friend's digital camera. And we'd set some stuff up like that, or I'd set some stuff up like that because he didn't care; he just wanted to play Black Ops. Uh, oh, okay. For me, I took that giant break because I was just like, Newgrounds is weird. I don't understand internet culture or talking to people online or anything like that. And I came oh, back. Oh, the, for- the forums were toxic, bro. I joined the forums when I was 13 and instantly yeah. they started shitting on me. And how I was like, dude, again? I don't know. I'm how too sensitive you? for this. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? Uh, I'm 25 now. 25, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I joined in 2007, I think. Okay, so you're, you're seven or eight years older than me. Uh... So, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, well, I'd, shit, I'd say... I, hmm? I, I started uh, perusing on Newgrounds back in 2002. <laughs> Created my account That in was when I was born, so that's pretty yeah. cool, Corey. <laughs> I am an old fuck, it's very true. <laughs> um, Whoa. So, growing up I on Newgrounds, it, it's, I, I didn't grow up on Newgrounds. I'll say, I mean, for my more important years, I'll say that I did, but... Uh, for most of my uh, my evolution as a person, I've been online generally, and I did not start on Newgrounds. I wish I did. If I had started on Newgrounds, I would be a much more prolific person today than I am. Um, so what started... were you what were you trying to do elsewhere when you weren't on Newgrounds? Like, what, Sorry, where you was hear... your content <laughs> at? Sorry if you can hear that. There's motorcycles outside. Um, uh, before Newgrounds, it, it all started when I was like fucking like nine or ten uh when i was started on tumblr um i was real young i was way too young for internet stuff but i got my first computer which was just a an old computer my my dad had um yeah i started on tumblr and people are gonna be like whoa this boy cringe but i started on tumblr as a five nights at freddy's roleplay account um (laughs) i felt a clipped out Corey laugh and just got completely destroyed by Discord. <laughs> I, I feel like that might need some explanation. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when I when Five Nights at Freddy's first came out, I was a little kid and I had full access to the internet. And you can kind of imagine how that goes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I was obsessed with that. I got pretty popular on Tumblr, but I. Like when I was 14 or something, I deleted or 13 or 14, I deleted all my Tumblr stuff and I regret it because there's so much, there's a gold mine of cringe that it's just been lost. Um, but yeah, it was a five nights at Freddy's roleplay account. I got decently big and I started doing MS paint drawings with my mouse. Um, I've always been drawing and whatnot, but that was like the first digital stuff I'd ever done. Uh, Got pretty big on Tumblr. I switched from Five Nights at Freddy's to Homestuck, which is even worse, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> this is the cringiest backstory I've yeah, ever heard, I bro. I love I'm just, it. I'm, I'm enjoying of, myself. I'm probably one of like the the weirdest people to exist, I'd say. 
uh, or the one of the weirdest normal people to exist nowadays. Uh, yeah, I, came, I mean, I came, you do I you do out. have a hunchback, like a weird. That's hunchback true. Yeah, I do have I goblin teeth and like tiny little toes, and I have one foot and all that. But I, mean, I heard I your came toenails out, are are twenty feet long. No, my so toenails I mean. actually. <laughs> there's this animal I forget the name of, but it has horns that continue to grow out unless it breaks them on a wall by ramming into it, and if it lets them <laughs> continue to grow, it spikes into its brain and kills it. That's kind of what my toenails are. They uh, they fuse together if I let them get too long, and they wind Ooh. up growing up and stabbing me in the brainstem. Um. So let's go in the let's go in the timeline. All right, if okay, it were for so, Five Nights at Freddy's and Homestuck, for Tumblr, if it weren't for Tumblr, <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, Homestuck, and Undertale, I would not be here today. Um, I switched from <laughs> yes, I did get into Undertale. I loved Undertale. Um, and I was a cringy little baby. I'll be honest. I was a very terrible cringy little baby. Uh, I did a lot of uh, role play shit. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with Steven Universe. Fucking hate that show. Um, <laughs> I hated it when it came out too. Um, don't say things like that. You're gonna get canceled. Come I don't on, care. Man. I don't care. I deserve it either way. Well, <laughs> the, the chat um, will go up in an uprising here. So, dog out. These days, you role play as Alien Hominid, right? No, I think that's actually, what my these days told me <laughs> these days. Yeah, I can't speak. Sorry, this is my second beer. These days, I uh, I actually just do D and D like a normal human being, a normal weird person. Um, D and D with who? I have some pals. I have some friends. Back you have off. real life friends. Back off, dickhead. <laughs> but well, <laughs> okay. Um, Damn no, it! I want to be I, like I, Dog Al when I grow yeah, up. Shit! I do, I do got some. Uh, <laughs> I do have some real life friends that I play D and D with, and I have a uh, online online group of friends that I've been playing D and D with for like I think three or four years now. Uh, actually, yeah, longer than Newgrounds. Uh, but I've been DMing for D and D for like eight years, nine years. Um, so let's let's talk about since you have all these in real life friends, let's talk about <laughs> something something have, a little <laughs> a little personal, huh? Let's I talk have, about I your two. online girlfriend. How'd you meet oh, MK God. Mafo? How did you, oh, how God. did that happen, huh? You uh, guys are a Newgrounds power couple. Oh my God! Uh, I didn't know this was Jersey Shore over man. here. Man. Tell, I'm jealous. I'm just jealous, dude. <laughs> just, <laughs> just tell me. Just uh, tell me how does shit like that happen? How do you find love on Newgrounds? Because I've been trying to pitch to people that we need a Newgrounds matchmaker. Or yeah, something. And we'll call it meat and fuck. Um, yeah, we'll call it meat and fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I stole that from a douchebag. That was not my joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want the real answer or the the lovey dovey romantic answer? Uh, whichever one is, I don't know. Whichever one you want to give us, you can completely we, lie out. Whichever one gets the most laughs. Uh, we met on Minecraft. Well, the room Night. went silent. I feel like that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's even worse is that. Is Wait, not you guys were role playing? No, the, the it all it all that. circles around your role playing skills. Got you, <laughs> MK Map. You were role playing Five Nights at Freddy's while in, in Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> no, we would do that in Roblox, but uh, with Minecraft. Uh, no, it was, um, <laughs> we didn't fall in love in Minecraft. That's fucking <laughs> a, 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 wor- a word that I'm not going to say for the sake of this podcast. We didn't fall in love in Minecraft. Stop. <laughs> well, but you guys, um, cringe? you guys started hanging out in Minecraft. <laughs> um, Why is that funny? Why is that that's the, real? The, the, that's the phrasing real is funny. So I had a, a group of friends. Uh, we had a group that we called Hot Bun, uh, the infamous Hot Bun. Rest and, in peace, Henry Eyes. Yeah, rest in peace. I miss him every day. Um, but fucking, we had a group called Hot Bun, and our pal Logan Fresh paid for a Minecraft realm, which allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff. And Cam, who is the uh, the Newgrounds ambassador, <laughs> Brandon saying Minecraft was bullshit. He's right. Minecraft was completely bullshit. It was terrible. But, um... <laughs> Cam, who is the uh, the the ambassador, the diplomat of all Newgrounds folks, especially of our little group, uh, <clears throat> when he was in the uh, or the 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 new Newgrounds, the new 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 Newground server, he's a he's an admin or whatever. And uh, a year or so ago, uh, Kawhi Sprite and uh, MK Mafo had joined Newgrounds. Uh, Math had joined from Tumblr because Tumblr was like nixing all NSFW content. And 
fucking uh, Isaac, I don't know exactly where he came from, but he decided to pop onto Newgrounds. I think Cam might have actually messaged him and told him to hop on Newgrounds, but don't take that from me. I don't know if that's the case. But uh, So Cam, Isaac, Isaac, quite right. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, and Cam, uh, Cam basically sort of, well, actually, no, Cam, before I e- ever even met Isaac, uh, was like, yo, check out this dude's music. It's fucking slick. And he had like an entire six albums worth of music on Newgrounds already and like a hundred fans. Um, and I was like, oh, this dude is pretty tight. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, and yeah. With math, with math, I had actually seen her on Newgrounds before I had ever met her. Uh, I'd, so, I'd seen her uh, her artwork and I was like, damn, I fucking wish I could draw it like this. This is fucking dope. This is that another favorite artist of mine? Um, and then I got introduced to both of them when Cam invited those two to our little uh, private Discord server. Um, and they both became pretty close friends. Uh, nice. One, what was your what was your conversation starter? Was it, hey, do you like Newgrounds? To math or to Isaac? Yeah. It was like, hey. Yeah, with... I mean, I don't know. Who did you hit on first? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I was obviously hitting on Isaac first because we've got a little bit of rapport. And also we worked together first because we had that dumb little uh, Valentine's Day song. So oh, no, to... office relationships, man. That's I had to lean on fine. thick with him to get anywhere. but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Um, with math, it was actually, um, it was a really, <laughs> it was a really simple, weird conversation starter. Um, I saw she'd posted some vent doodles on Twitter <clears throat> and she was pretty new to our group. And I was like, yo, I, I messaged her. I was like, yo, are you okay? This is kind of worrying. Uh, yeah, I just want to let you know you got an entire Discord server of people to talk to if you ever want to. And she's like, no, it's okay. Thanks, Doggle. And I was like, huh, cool. Um, hell, so oh, hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was basically it. And then from there, we started talking about music. Um, she thought I was more of a music guy than an art or a... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Shell. Um, she was. <laughs> she thought I was more of a music guy than like an art or an animation or anything like that guy. So she started sharing music with me. We started talking about music. Yada, yada, yada. Now we're married, have five kids, all that. Wow. <laughs> wow. There we go. There you New have it. You real. can find love on Minecraft through Newgrounds. New Newgrounds New magic here, here. is real. But, you know, that's one of the cool things about it is, you know, we always talk about on the podcast how great the community is for Newgrounds. Yeah. And, and and something like this, you know, just hanging out with a group of people, it leads you to find, you know, a girlfriend, which is pretty damn awesome, man. Yeah. Um, it was pretty, uh, it was a, <laughs> it was a journey, I will say. Um, we've been, we've been together for almost a year now. Um, wow. Why don't you get a room, you two? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Christ. Look at this guy. He comes out of the podcast, starts talking about his relationship. Well, it's no, just I can't crazy get him to stop. It's, it's right. crazy. Enough, enough of me being lonely. No, 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 think, no, 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 no. I think the lesson we need to take here is anything is possible with majestic hair. Yes, yeah. that is true. If you have true. good enough you hair, you can, you can do anything, basically. In a six I walked pack. into... I, no, I don't have a... I'm very fat, but... In uh, <laughs> <laughs> a uh, masculine chin... If, has that anyone seen his chin? <laughs> um, you look like the real life version of Cube Sonas, like OC. Like that is just, not true. Cube Sonas just, art is ridiculous. I do not look anything like that. You look no. You just got that chin, that chin power. I don't have Cube Sonas chin power at all. I I pretty sure he used you. You're as basically a no. I'm you're basically saying. you're basically saying I look like that Chad meme with the guy in the black and white that's like fucking vibrating. Well, you do. I don't. <laughs> Listen, listen. Anyone who wants to see a picture of Doggle, just look up look up the Chad meme. Look there up. There you go. His arms literally flail Shut like up, that, Shall. too. I, don't, I keep seeing Markiplier. Yeah. Yeah. Here. I'm well, going um, to do picture that I'm going to find a, that picture of Doggle doing a spinning back kick. Here, I'll show you. I have everyone. videos, pictures, everything of it. What? Yeah. Uh, Doggle once did a spinning back kick to become a host on ngp and well you see where that got him yeah i'm not a host <laughs> but you know look, look, look. Just, i don't, I don't yeah. have the time to copy and paste in the chat you guys gotta go to the new grounds dump and yeah. to see one of the coolest things 
I've been... Yeah, and everybody says I look like Markiplier, blah, blah, blah. I get it, I get it. All right, so en- enough of me being crippling, lonely, and isolated. Let's talk yeah. about your future. <laughs> Give me some more questions. Give me more questions. What do you what do you do for the voice acting thing, man? What do you do for the three D? I mean, what, uh, you do D and D. I mean, pick a fucking lane, bro. And <laughs> what well, do you want to do in the future? Well, first and what foremost, is the, what's the idea? Uh, I'm not as passionate about like three D or art or voice acting or anything like that. Uh, I've actually been a writer for I think ten years now. Um, I've been really passionate about writing and scripting and. Uh, and all that. So I've been working on a book for uh, a a medieval sort of thing uh, for the past three years, uh, based oh, on some D and D stuff. Yeah, uh, and as well as that, I've worked on supplements, like supplementary books for D and D and whatnot. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of writing, um, and I did write uh, Stinky Steve as well. That's one of my more critical works. Uh, Wait, hmm? are you are you? being legitimate right now what do you mean you have a you have a work out there called stinky steve yeah i have a series of books called stinky steve wait how seriously many? the, the many? minecraft stinky steve yeah how many uh it's a it's a it's a bit i've kind of lost track do you delete those or are they out there can i find stinky steve look up minecraft stinky steve hell yeah i can't no, wait straight up look it up Right now, hell yeah! This is, no, I can't joking. right now because I don't. Okay. I don't like typing because it gets into the microphone. But I will yeah. find that. No, and I will give you I wrote, a, a I ten page Steve. essay on what I think about it. Yeah, there it is. That's the that's the one of the first pages. That was actually done by a different artist. Not. Oh, cool. So I, your role playing led into your love for writing. Yeah, and also uh, Minecraft Steve farting and whatnot. Wow, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I mean, as a as a kid, that's fucking. Brilliant, kind of ballsy to put out. <laughs> put out. I'm Pretty looking crazy. at all these covers. It's literally yeah. just Steve from Minecraft just fucking farting all yeah, over the they're place. They're all New York Times <laughs> bestsellers. Uh, I've actually amassed uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars um, over the past couple of years. Um, obviously, a, those have been wait, going what? to yeah, those have been going to different organizations and whatnot. I haven't been taking too much in myself, but uh, yeah, I've been I've been doing a lot of work, especially in the writing field. Oh, um, what else have so, you made besides so, Stinky Steve? Uh, I wrote uh, Dipper Ghost Taco. <laughs> Ex- Dipper Ghost Taco. <laughs> what? what? Nothing. Um, getting off the writing work. Uh, Dipper goes to Taco Bell. Aside, 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 <laughs> aside from uh, <laughs> from the writing stuff. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the writing stuff isn't what I'm most known for, I'm going to be honest. Well, I didn't even <laughs> yeah. know you wrote anything. Yeah. I mean, there's, there seems to be a, a huge back catalog. There is a gigantic really back. Dive there is a gigantic it. catalog of work in my writing. Is there any original work from that kind no, of era? No, it is all entirely derivative. Derivative. So currently, though, What's you're the, working what? on something medieval. Yes, I'm, I'm working on a, a few supplementary books for D&D, as well as my own little... Uh, Medieval novel, yeah. Well, and, and you and you have like a bunch of you know just side stuff that's inspired you to write, like you know, of course yeah. Minecraft and yes, and of course D and D. But initially, what got you interested in wanting to pick up a pen and and start writing, or you know, just opening up Microsoft Word and start typing? Like, what what sparked the creative juices of story writing? Because for some people, it's really hard to even just come up with a short story. So ultimately, what gave you the interest to want to make your own you know full-on stories i'm gonna be honest i didn't think you guys would believe this bit as hard as you did um (laughs) he's actually not a writer at all i do i do love writing Uh, all right get this guy out of here we're done (laughs) Uh, i do love writing uh we can't have april fools was fucking (laughs) (laughs) what ten nine days ago ten (laughs) days ago (laughs) Fucking asshole. <sighs> I guess it's well, karma. I guess it's time to retitle this episode. Nah, let's, <laughs> let's all take a breath. Let's all take a fucking breath. Fuck. Oh. That's what we get for pulling a fucking prank on the fan. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. This is great. This is great. I just, uh. 
On this relax, episode man. of NGP, freak you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody believed it too. Um, no, so when it comes to writing, Spazer, I do. Spazer, can you monologue like what just happened? Can you just do a monologue right now. We just We've need to been duped. <laughs> 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 so no but genuinely here we genuinely, were thinking we were gonna have a legit good podcast and Doggle <laughs> just starts laughing his ass off because like, oh, oh, yeah. i fuck this shit oh, my God. i thought i so learned good. some shit today i thought i actually learned some oh, shit today it turns out everything prior to this was a lie uh Doggle doesn't have any re- real life friends he doesn't even know who ninja muffin is he, he oh, who's God. mk mafo has been on in on this thing for a whole year stinky I mean, steve doesn't good. even Not exist dude there's no such Get thing out. as stinky steve <laughs> He doesn't have. He doesn't have anything. He, he was never gay, this. Vegeta. Let me, let me put this back on track. I do actually love writing. I have been writing for D and D for like nine years. That part is real. Stinky Steve is not, sadly. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, when it comes to D and D, I have been working on some supplementary supplementary books and whatnot, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, a bunch of weird medieval stuff. I've got notes upon notes upon notes. I'm not as interested in this as I was in the Stinky Steve story. I'm just gonna be, I know. I'm gonna be Stinky Steve is probably the coolest you. thing. Uh, I feel like... But when it comes to other work, well, like 3D voice acting stuff, what about it? What about it? Do you want to? Are you? Are no, you I just want to know when's your next My Little Pony fanfic coming out. Listen, man, <laughs> it's, it's been all a long gotta time know. coming. I know, but probably six years. Six years. Uh okay. <laughs> You deleted all your Tumblr stuff. I like yeah, the stuff sadly. you're coming out with on Newgrounds. Uh, apparently, I can't even tell if you want to be a fucking writer. All, all <laughs> I have in, in my head is fucking Stinky Steve now. I completely derailed <laughs> you. I've completely, with that one bit, just completely ruined the, the podcast, at least for Zin Zinix. He doesn't remember any of his questions. Everything is wrong now. <laughs> Everything is wrong now. The world is upside down. Now, come with me if you want to see... A world filled with imagination. imagination. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's get it back on track. I'm right here. All right, 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 all all right, 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 and no, I'll just be you, man. I'll just be you. Sp- no, like you're not allowed to be me. Yeah, I could be you. I want to be me. I mean, I want to be Stinky Steve. All right, you can be Zen. <laughs> I'll be Stinky Steve. Um, uh, okay. I don't know what to say anymore. Hi, I'm, I'm Dog <laughs> All right, let's, L. Let's, let's get this shit back on track. So, I'm, I'm Dog L. <laughs> you're, you're Zen. <laughs> I'm your dog, dog out. I can't do a voice. That's I'm the worst gonna, part. I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead, Corey. You take the rest. Right. No way. I'll take this you know. is out of commission. So, Logan. So you have been getting more into 3D modeling, using Blender mm-hmm. a lot, and posting that up on Newgrounds. You've you put a lot of really cool stuff up lately. Uh, one of my favorites recently was um, your 3D model of Captain from uh, mm-hmm. Tank. So it, with your background in voice acting and and now getting that experience in in you know three D modeling, do you see yourself potentially trying to get into you know three D animation at all and incorporating your own little stories and and whatnot, or is this just something you want to do on the side for fun? So when it comes to three D uh, and when it comes to basically all the things that I do and I'm interested in. Uh, with 3D, it's definitely no longer a hobby for me. It's a, it's another passion that I'm uh, I've I've very deeply rooted myself into, and with like to the point that I've been using Blender and learning about 3D stuff for like I'd say eight uh, eight hours a day, just working in Blender and messing with it. Uh, recently, I've slowed down and actually taken the time to just do my own thing and do commissions and stuff like that. But it, 3D has really become my main <clears throat> large passion. And when it comes to larger 3D animated works, I do have uh, I do have a drive to figure that out. I do have a drive to do more of that. One of the cartoons that I've done, I've only done one full quote unquote 3d cartoon or 3d animation uh 
and that was uh, Monkey Trouble, which I was, was say that was Monkey Trouble, yeah, yeah, that was with Math. Uh, got a lot of help from her, and that was actually technically a commission, st- or started as a commission for her. She wanted to help me out, um, and I was like, I want to animate this and make something fun and cute, and I did. When it comes to longer animated works, I find that I have a lot of trouble doing that on my own. Um, I have a very hard time dedicating to a single project for a long time. That's why with 3D especially, I, uh, sorry, I'm clicking my, my tongue a whole bunch. Uh, <laughs> with, with 3D especially, I very much enjoy making a new thing, putting it out there. That's like completely experimental for me with a bunch of new techniques and, uh, figuring out how to model a bit better, how to animate a bit better. And a, a completely new thing every time with 3D and learning more about it and getting deeper into it rather than <clears throat> doing one super large project that I'm likely not going to be as proud of or interested in within like a week's time. Like Monkey Trouble, it's cute, it's fun, um, but there's a thousand things that I could have fixed or perfected or made better. And I know I'm not going to make that cartoon over again. I have to continue and move on to something new and fun for me. That's not going to, like, kill me and make me fucking bored uh, over the course of, like, two, three months. Um, yeah, it, it, and it's all part of uh, the learning process. The more you yeah. work at it, and the <clears throat> more you improve, you know, and, and look at your previous work and realize, man, I could have done this better. I could have done this better. Then you can just apply it to... The new project that you're working on that you're having fun with of course and you know just keep getting better and better yeah it's just with longer projects and this is all excuses by the way this literally means nothing <laughs> i could just do it but with longer 3d projects i just find myself i just find myself getting a uh, bored with the content that i'm creating easier um and much faster when it's just something that i can throw out there and do it quick and look at everything. I'm like, okay, there's this, 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 and this that I need to fix um, in my next work that is similar to it but completely different. And now I know how to fix those things. With a longer 3D project, there's a lot more to handle. There's a lot more to analyze. And it's just a, it's just a lot more work. And I like being able to grow faster. I like being able to do like a hundred little things that build me up even quicker than one big thing that gives me a big chunk of information because it feels like it is, it's more of a reward for me. I'm oh, yeah, make... surprised that you're going into more of like the blender slash 3d animation then as compared to, let's say like just focusing more on voice acting or some musical elements. Mm. Um... Cause I know for me, at least like, Music projects don't take up nearly as much time as, let's say, like animating you know, five minutes of content. So, well, with music, I just can't do it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like, I, I can sing and I can play guitar and bass and some other random instruments. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven instruments in my room. And oh, nice. I can I can relatively play them all. Um, but my main thing that I would need to get into is music production, which is uh, an, an entire different can of worms. Um, I can play some songs, but I'm just not that fluent in, in, in music, even though it is a passion for me, and I do have fun doing it, and I do have fun working with other people and doing it. Uh, I'm much more of like a... I'm much more one-track minded with music. I, I'm not a generalist with that, with voice acting or with 3D or with art or animation or anything like that. Uh, I'm much more of a generalist, which I I, <clears throat> I I enjoy much more. But with music, it just turns my brain off, basically. That's how it feels. Uh, every time I try to pick up FL or learn Free Loops or fucking any other uh, DAW besides Reaper, which I use exclusively for uh, voice acting... Um, it just turns my brain off. I can't do it. <laughs> I, I try to learn it. Uh, and it's even a, a visual workspace to create stuff in, which is useful for me. But I just, I, it's, a, it's a block that I've got. Same with 2D animation and, uh, and coding. They're very, very difficult for me to get into. I still don't know uh, exactly why, but yeah. That's interesting. Like for me, you know, I, I've had people... Uh, like reach out to me and tell me like, hey, like you know, 
those skits that you did for the voice acting collaboration, you should animate them. I'm like, fuck, man, I, I have no... I, I have no illustration skills whatsoever. Like, even mm. if I were to open up Animate or, or any other an animating program, I, I wouldn't even know the first step. And even if I did, you know, get ballsy and say, you know, I am going to fucking do that, it would look like absolute garbage. It would look like a kindergartner, yeah. you know, put it together because I have no, you know, I have no drawing ability whatsoever. Like, it and... would be basically just brain shut off, like, like you said. Like, there's some things yeah. that we just aren't able to, you know, fully grasp you know, yeah. yeah fully grasp and you know explore and you know make the best of it you know like, there, there's some, certain things that we just stay in our lane with and we explore and we get better at them and you know and, and you and i kind of went back and forth on on twitter with it a little bit like when you said you said you know I, i'm loving 3d and i may want to just get away from voice acting and all that i'm like don't you fucking dare you're too good <laughs> like well this is what i really love i'm like no I, i'm just fucking with yeah. you dude but yes yeah. if this is what you want to do and you love it stick to it keep keep practicing keep creating and you know be the best that you can be yeah when it comes to voice acting especially it's uh especially recently very recently i've been having a lot of uh a, a, a sort of imposter syndrome with because I, this is genuine, this is 100% real, I have not voice acted for a, a project in a year. Uh, the only thing that I've voiced for recently was a fun little project that my buddy Prosciutto Man is working on, uh, Picanjo the Game, or uh, I, f I forget exactly the title, but a game project that he's working on. Did some narration for that. But I haven't done any other uh, actual voice acting work for, for about a year, maybe a little bit more. And the last two things that I voiced for were for Zural and for, I don't know if they want me to talk about it or if they want me to, I, I don't know exactly, a, a cool animation group on Newgrounds that is uh, making a cool cartoon. I voiced for that as well. Um, now, are you, are you just talking about like, what are you saying, like voice acting for projects? Do you mean just like animations in general? Anything. Uh, literally I'm anything. Gonna, <laughs> I am going to call you out on your life, sir. You, you and mean? I voice acted together, remember? Okay. So the, the, <laughs> the, the, the Christmas I'm stuff. You out. Yes. Christmas <laughs> stuff. Yeah, okay. Fair. I, 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 I mean more like 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 professional work because I was starting to get more... Oh, how dare you, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about more of the, the professional work I have. I, no, and I, I don't you, mean I that. Yeah. Uh, like I was doing a bit more professional game cartoon stuff and then everything just went completely dry, uh, which is obviously a big demotivator, um, and yeah. a big imposter syndrome, uh, creator. Cause, uh, in the past like month or so, I've just been like, man, did I just use all of my talent? What happened? <laughs> Why can't yep. I? And I was, uh, I was sending out auditions like every day I would send, Actually, when I started Newgrounds, I was sending out at least four auditions, I think, every two days, every day. Um, I was working my ass off for weeks at a time. And then when I moved again, I recently moved out to Nevada, uh, I start, I set up my sound booth and I started sending out auditions literally every day, uh, like four or five recorded, edited, finished by that night, sent out, emailed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I did that for like a good... Uh, three or four months until I was just burnt out. Um, with voice acting, I'm I'm uh, I'm certain that I'll still do it. Um, it is still definitely a passion of mine to get into a character and create a character or embody a character that people enjoy, and uh, and all that. But it's definitely taken a backseat to 3D stuff. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, with 3D, it's a kind of a funny, funny thing that just occurred. But with acting and uh, performance arts, I, that's always been a part of me. That's never going to actually go away. Yeah, you know that that's one of the downsides of of voice acting. And once I started my my career, I had to understand, you know, not landing a gig all the time is one of the downsides. You know, and I used to play baseball. And I took my my career in baseball and applied that to voice acting. You know, the game of baseball is a is a losing sport. No matter how many times you try, you know, if you you know if you if you hit for three hundred in baseball, you know, that's getting a hit like three out of the ten times you you know you having a bat. 
that's considered good. It's a game of failure. And mm-hmm. the entertainment business is basically a business of failure. You can audition, 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 and you won't land a role. And you'll you'll go through these dry spells. And it and it it can be very discouraging because I've had them too. I'm like, damn man, like why is no one, you know, why does no one like me? And it kind of just deters <laughs> it deters you from wanting oh, to man. keep pursuing it. Yeah. But you know, that's one you know, I always tell this to other voice actors too. Um the game of voice acting, like the job of voice acting is putting out auditions daily. And when you land a gig, that's that's just overtime. <laughs> Yeah. It's like that's you getting to have fun and, and do all that stuff. Yeah. And, and trust me, I I know it, it's very discouraging. But at the same time, you're finding something, um, you're finding something that's allowing you to be more passionate about and yeah. have fun with, and and basically prevent you from getting you know down on yourself and prevent you from even wanting to do it again. That's you know, especially important with acting and voice acting yes. stuff. Yes, uh, if you don't if you don't have those avenues to you know, replenish you know, those moments where we're feeling down on ourselves. If we don't have something there to replenish and, and fill us up with happiness, it can turn us away from ultimately what we wanted to do. And that's what happened to me you know, back in 2016. I turned myself away from voice acting and came back. And in the moment, cause I had another moment where I was like, I'm going to walk away. But then I had other stuff in my life. I'm like, no, 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 no. I got to focus on this, take a break, get the happiness back in, you know, and then pick it up a little bit more. And yeah. And now that you have this with 3D modeling, it's you know, it's good, man. I, I, and it's and and you're good at it. A lot of the art that you've been putting together, it's it's really good. Like I was blown away with um, with Captain, and I think the first one that I saw you do was uh, the one where you put Shaw on top of a GameCube, and it had me laughing my ass off. <laughs> oh yeah, his uh, his uh, his little snake dude. Yeah, that yeah. was really fun. <laughs> with. Uh... Yeah, that's that's definitely where I am right now. With voice acting, sometimes just depending on how and who you are, if you can't keep up with what is going on online, if you're an online voice actor specifically, specifically, um, if you can't keep up with it, you got to have something else. And sometimes you do have to take a break for a certain amount of time. And uh, currently, I'm just in a in a in a little downturn, a little downswing for for VA work. And I got to focus on other stuff that still keeps me interested and motivated and having fun. Uh, I'm completely open to continuing to do voice acting work. But admittedly, I got to work more on myself and on my current like artwork and work that I can actually sell currently. And with voice acting, uh, <laughs> this is probably feeding more into the imposter syndrome stuff. But even looking <laughs> at it, as, I'm 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 a, I'm very much I'm very much a perfectionist in all things that I do. And with voice acting, there is a lot of training that I have not gone through. There is a lot of education that I've not gotten that I need to get. Um, I've been self-taught for basically everything that I do for my entire life. And with VA, or with acting in specific, because acting is just a thing that really interests me and I really love, um, acting is something that I would have to actually sink some money into, or at least some time, a lot more time than I already have into getting a, a, a bit of a higher education, or at least training in. Um, I get in some coaching and, and figuring more, yeah. more so what goes into it. Yeah, I feel yeah. you on that. Because after speaking with some of the... Uh, <laughs> Some some other voice actors. I I'm very excuse me. Burp just wasn't coming out. Um, <laughs> uh, with working with Zural, uh, I've actually spoken to a, a quite a few much larger, much more professional voice actors, and that's also a very big, <laughs> a very big um, imposter syndrome creator because you're like oh shit. These people know way more than I know. They're talking about all these different variables that I've never even heard of. They know all the prices. They know everything to do. Oh, shit, I'm fucking stupid. Um, and with speaking with folks like uh, with a very fucking cool dude, Jean-Francois, who voices Beebs in Monkey Wrench uh, for Zero. Somebody that's been working in the industry for, like, I think upwards of 10 years and another very cool dude, Jacob Barons, who voices the main character Shrike in Monkey Wrench for Zero. Um, there's a there's a lot more work that goes into VA and acting than 
uh, mm -hmm. than you would anticipate. And there's a lot more work that I've got to do as a person and as an actor to continue to grow and to feel like, uh, to even feel like I'm deserving of a role, really. Uh, I've been sort of functioning off of the same techniques and things I've learned when I was younger. And I, uh, I need to find some time, sometime in the future, to, uh, to actually get way better and improve myself there. Hey, can uh, I hey, can I say something for a moment? I, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. How um, the fuck did this guy get in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I just wanted to point out. Um, no, this is serious. This is serious. Uh, Doggle uh, yeah. is probably. You can say my name. We're friends. Logan. <laughs> Shell's on the podcast. First time, everybody. Mod yeah, Shell. Mod Shell, everyone. Welcome. This is, this is first, first time this is I've ever life. heard their Shell. voice. This is this is real real life. Shao yeah. is one of my better online friends that I've ever had, and I've only known him for two years. He is one of wow. the better men that I've also known in my life, and I'm yeah. very appreciative to have him in mine. Continue. I just wanted to say um, that you guys are sitting here talking about fucking like the voice acting and the 3D stuff, and yeah, like he's good at all that shit. But hands down, like Doggle or Logan is the fucking jack of all trades to any single fucking thing you possibly need. Uh, I've never true. seen I've never seen anyone, or at least like his age, work as hard as he does and then stays as humble as he does about anything. Like he'll sit there Shut and work the for up. thirteen hours. He'll sit there <laughs> fucking staying up, you know, not going to bed and not drinking anything. And then he'll send me some. He's like, yeah, "This is my progress so far." I'm like, "Wow, it's amazing." He's like, "I don't know. It looks kind of bad." And I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" He'll sit there. He's the biggest <laughs> perfectionist, but he's good at video editing, three D work voice acting animating it doesn't matter drawing he's the like i said the jack of all trades for newgrounds that's why i, I think mean, you, and even coming from a music side he just said yeah. he had seven instruments in his he's room like, oh rapper? shoot <laughs> there's not many people i know that can yeah. handle multiple instruments and make a tune out of and them he's, and he's all self-taught and that's the thing too yeah. where he's very like he has that you know sort of imposter syndrome type of thing but at the same time it's like when you see uh all these other people sort of focus on one specific thing it's like of course you know they're gonna try to master that one thing but logan's even handy when it comes to like knowing people like i'm like hey can you get me a picture of cam showing his balls and he'll be like yeah i got you i'm like oh can you go ahead and like email like the executive of newgrounds tom fulp and he's like yeah absolutely let me just send it over you know a picture of his balls like he's a <laughs> he's a and a writer no so i just want to put all that out there he's fucking he's the best guy i've ever met on new grounds, hands down. Bitch, I'm about to slap the black out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to put all that out there. I'm gonna get it all on the table. So I'll destroy you wow. in a combat arena with two well, swords and nothing else. And he's a that, gamer. <laughs> that wow. part is my best. That's my and best facet. Gamer. That's my. That's that's what I'm best at. I'll be honest. I'm very good at Dark Souls. This is one of the reasons why I wanted uh, Doggle on the, on the podcast anyway. Simply because you look at his Newgrounds page, and his hands are on everything, and it's whether it's animation, voice acting, some games, uh, and art. Uh, he's effect He's worked with so many people, and hearing him talk, very creative person, and very driven. You know, to explore the creative side of of, of himself, and. It's good to see that you're you're exploring all this stuff at a young age, because that's setting the bar for what you could potentially achieve later on in your future. That's so a that's, very that's, that's a very awesome. important thing that I've thought about for a lo a long time in the past few years. Genuinely, for for all of my teens, I've been there's a there's a very few things that motivate me, and I'd say two of those things. For one, the first being I. <clears throat> I'm very, uh, I'm very scared of labels, which sounds weird. Uh, not like label makers or something like that, but like just somebody, <laughs> somebody placing, uh, an identifier on you, somebody placing one specific thing that you can be tacked down to something that's, that's, they just call you that thing. That's something that I'm not a fan of that. I really, really hate <laughs> somebody just sent a bunch <laughs> of organic labels, uh, <laughs> um, but that's something that I'm very, very much not a fan of. And that's, I've been that way for, for years and years and years. And it's only been recently that I've had the ability to go against that. 
Um, and this is a really weird tangent. This is a this is a really weird <laughs> facet of that. But it even ties into personality and not just like what you do, what your work is. Um, when I was younger, when I was a preteen or whatever, I very much thought that I was gay. And that turned out to not be entirely the case. But I was very <laughs> scared of that, not because I thought people were going to going to hate me or that my parents were going to disown me or anything like that but i thought that i was going to be labeled as just the you know a token gay guy a guy who sucks dicks and also likes them and also is gay <laughs> I, I was very terrified of that i was terrified of talking to my friends about that because i was like i don't want them to just that be the joke that i am hit with every time yeah i'd rather them actually make jokes about my character and uh the stupid shit i've done which i've done a lot of jesus christ um <laughs> <laughs> but it ties it, it ties into everything for me. Uh, I've been very scared of being labeled as one thing. And because of that, I've gotten into literally every thing that I can do. And that's that ties into the second thing that uh, that motivates me. And that's uh, that's just creating in general. I grew up in a very creative household. Um, my dad and was a, and he's good at all of it. I'll kill you in your sleep. I, <laughs> my dad was a graffiti artist. He's a, he, he, he's just, he was just an artist in general. Um, and he had to stop that to provide for his family and whatnot. But he did a lot of graffiti work and sort of H.R. Geiger-esque artwork um, that he had to give up on, sadly. And uh, my mom, while not an artist, always promoted me, like, or not promote, uh, invigorated my artistic spirit and uh, told me to keep on going, keep on drawing, all that when I was young. Uh, and I was always kind of known as the uh, the art kid in school, as I'm sure a lot of Newgrounds folks can kind of um, can kind of attest to, can kind of uh, relate to. Yeah, the funny but kid. The, well, I've <laughs> always been funny, but that's just because of how I look. <laughs> um, but yeah, creating in general and being afraid of labels has inspired me to continue to dip my fingers into every single facet that I can get into with art in general. I started drawing drawing was something I was always interested in. And then I saw a bunch of animations on YouTube and said, I want to be an animator. And I actually started studying 2d animation, which I can no longer do well. Um, but I can still draw. That's still a facet that I can go down. And from uh, drawing and thinking about animation and all these cartoons I wanted to do, I started coming up with characters and writing and figuring that out and uh, plotting out these stories that I wanted to create. And from that, I got into D&D. &D. With D&D, &D, I was writing out all these plot lines and ways that these characters and stories could move forward and continue, and how these characters could interact, and how those characters would sound and language. And from that, I got into voice acting. From voice acting, I started getting into singing because I really wanted to improve my vocal range and e do even more stuff. And from singing, I got into rapping, etc., etc., etc. With creation, every single thing that you do is interlinked. It's, it's inexorably chained. Uh, every single thing that you can do artistically is linked it, together. It's all acting I too. I mean, animating's acting, you know, uh, D and D's acting, voice acting, obviously is acting and even like music, you know, and like singing, like you're in a way, a character. Like, yeah, of course. And, uh, when you're animating, you know, you have to, it's not just capturing the motion. It's like, okay, this is how a dog moves. No, you're acting as the dog while putting down the dog on the piece of fucking paper. And, uh, I think, I mean, above all else, Logan is probably the best actor I know. <clears throat> he's a, I mean, he's he's got it all down, you know. Especially when you're directing a project, you know how the characters wanna wanna move and interact with each other and stuff like that. And and so when you're writing, it's also acting because you're acting as the character before it even plays out. I I, I really love that because. A lot of people at your age wouldn't even consider, you know, wouldn't even consider these avenues or exploring that creative aspect of themselves. So it's it's actually good advice to give out to, you know, teenagers who are like trying to find something that they're passionate about and are too afraid to explore it, you know. Uh, I, I wish I got into voice acting earlier in, in my life. And people would tell me, 
oh, you know, you should try it. You should try. It. I'm like, eh, well, yeah, whatever. And now that I, 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 I'm doing it, I, I love it so much, and I wish I would have pursued it so much younger. And and for those who are who are listening, who are teenagers or just young enough and are thinking of pursuing something, take take the take the road that that doggles taken and, no, and just don't do that no, do well, not do that. specifically <laughs> but no like in, in that it same depends. aspect like, <laughs> if, if you if you find yourself interested in, in trying to learn something and you find yourself you know wanting to be creative try it out and see if it works and if it leads you to pursuing something else pursue that it, there's nothing wrong with trying different avenues and seeing this is what the works most cheesy and all, and all shit stuff. this is the most cheesy shit ever but for anybody that is younger on Newgrounds, anybody that's around my age, it does not matter what your age is, but if you are younger and you have this spirit inside you, this fucking tiny little ember that you want to grow, that you want to make larger, you have the single most advanced and ridiculously expansive amount of knowledge in front of you that you can just consume for the rest of time as long as the internet exists even you if you're have... old man i mean if you're, old, said, yeah. if you're old you can still like learn me. shit nah if you're old just fuck off you're screwed yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over for you. You have... Have... Yeah, don't you even have... don't even Angus think about thing. mick mick who started voice acting at like 25 and put out a bunch of fucking no, uh, he was it, auditions Oh, 30. Started animating yeah, maybe yeah. at 25, I think, is what happened with that. Well, That's it, why it, I have hope. <laughs> it, it just it doesn't matter. Just pursue what the fuck you love. Everybody it, has you know. nothing but hope and time to use to continue to grow themselves, not to create cool shit or to make money, but to feel good, to feel like you're actually putting something out into the world. With how the world is, and this is where I'm going to get into my fucking Buddhist dumbass bullshit, yes. but the way that the world just exists... There is a constant cycle of destruction. There is a constant cycle of things being taken away, whether that's life or the amount of shit that we put into the ocean, uh, the amount of trash that we create as humans, both as people that die and recycle ourselves into the fucking earth and throw our trash and all the plastic that we create out into this fucking planet that we live on. We need to create to at least in some way, in some facet, make up for all that we've destroyed. As artists, we are the only people, as anybody, that creates or builds or makes anything for the rest of humanity to see or use or watch. As artists, as creatives, as people that build, etc., 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 we are the people that are making up for that constant miasma of destruction that goes on throughout the Earth and the universe in general. And that's pretty grand, but it's true. The reason that we're creating is not to, or at least for me, the reason I create is not to, it's not to make money or to feel good. It's to make up for the fact that I put out so much. <laughs> there's so much negative, <laughs> there's so much negative that just exists. And to create is to make a positive. Yeah, and be funny. Yeah. Make people I laugh. Yeah, I go all, fart and poop all and die. shit and stuff. <laughs> yeah, talk about funny stuff. We all people, fucking die. People this is a, this is a quote. This miserable. is a quote that this is a quote that Shal has said before. Be nice, be funny, shit, die. <laughs> yes. And be doggle and delete your Tumblr. No, and shut it. the fuck up. I wish it, I said that. Lose I all your pee, previous art. It's so <laughs> bad, dude. Hold on. All right, I'm, it's over. I, it's I, over. No, no, Thank no, no, you, guys. No, 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 no. Let's keep so on this going. This is a new podcast. podcast. It's been an going. hour and 15 on, minutes. Hold on, hold on. What? It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I know. I, Let's go for another I hour. Do think, I do think that this is a good a good spot to to end the podcast on. Uh, yes, Doggo left us with some good inf- he left us with a good positive message and while we're on the topic of you know, creating stuff I do want to give a shout out uh, to the winners of Twanix's NGOC I'm going to go piss while you do this bye go ahead <laughs> <laughs> wow. I do want to give a shout out to the winners of the, of the, okay. of the music contest um, mainly because it was uh, a prize uh, for the top three winners so Third place uh, was Carefree Minuet, Minuet <laughs> by Missionary Music. Uh, 
Second place was Corpse Moth by LDW. And first place was For Curiosity's Sake by Vocal Outburst. And if you oh, guys... Oh, Vocal Outburst Vocal one? Outburst. Yeah. They're a good pianist. Uh, I'm guessing they use piano, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and what we're ultimately going to do is we wanted to have them on the show tonight, too. Uh, we were going to have Twanix on along with the winners and have them, you know, talk about their their compositions and, you know, talk about what inspired them to make their tracks and what it felt like to be, you know, placed as winners in the contest. But, you know, people are all over the world on Newgrounds, so we weren't able to get all four of them on at the same time. But I asked the winners to basically put a little audio uh, bit together just explaining their inspiration and what it felt like to be a winner. And what we're going to do is we may uh, splice it into the episode when we edit, or uh, what we'll do is just we'll add their explanations in the description of the episode when we post up to Newgrounds. So if you guys are interested, um, we'll even we'll even link the tracks in our description as well, so you guys can go listen to them. Oh, nice. uh, the the songs are they're absolutely amazing, and if you have the time, go listen to the other entries because there were a really there were a lot of good um, uh, submissions to the contest. So as uh, as we wrap things up here, does anyone have any closing words that they want to say? I'll say congratulations to the winner. Well those done. are some good words, Shal. This is <laughs> probably also back. a good time to say we're also about to, if I could just interject here, we're also getting into peak uh, audio contest season here. In the next, oh, wow. In the next week, we're going to start seeing the Art Inspired Music Contest, which actually I'm actually going to join. Uh, that's going to be, it's on its way. That you're going to hear a whole bunch of musicians or composers and producers pick a random art or art of their choosing on Newgrounds and make an music that's inspired from that art uh that will be led by random story keeper uh eventually there will also be the new grounds on the new grounds underdog audio contest and the big new grounds deathmatch competition yeah those will be coming on that's getting into that season here jesus it feels like we just interviewed spazer for the winners of the audio (laughs) deathmatch yeah it's coming up um, what is that? Uh, art inspired music. I think Twanix. I think Twanix won last year. Ooh, I think I think Twanix won I last remember. year. I think. Man, I think... last year feels like ten years ago. No, I mean <laughs> honestly, I don't know. It came too soon, to be honest. It feels like everything's already recycling. Anyway, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 We can go for another hour, man. Zen, I'm ready. Me and, Ready uh, for me, what? And, me and Logan are making a new book. It's called Two Gay Men Wandering. And uh, if you want yeah, to look into no, that, look for it on Amazon. No, okay, we're done. Two men naked walking through yeah, the yeah. desert. Yeah, Stinky Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Real funny. No, seriously, <laughs> Zen. We can go for another hour. Yeah. I've got a bunch of energy now. We Thank you everyone for showing up. Let's go uh, for another patrons, hour. Patrons, Let's patrons, patrons. Let's do a couple more hours. Thank you to our patrons. I don't have the list on me. Come on, Zen. Let me insert patron names here. I oh my gosh, that dude, dang it. The New Grounds Podcast Patreon. And thank you to Tom Folk for creating what has created all of us. Thank you for creating New Grounds, Tom Folk. Thank you for Tom Falp, Newgrounds. We got 13 patrons. And I can't you, see Falp. who they are. I got, so. I got the list. I got the list. I got the list. So, okay. quick shout out. Thank you to Pluff Mutt, uh, Carissa, Boozle, Zachary Jones, Bacon, Garly Guard. Uh, great Teen Vids, 14 Kids, Kid, uh, Commander Ken, Say Sorry, Spectre Lee, and Tom Fulp. Yay! Yeah, Yay! Thank you, Thank you for your support, guys. Thank, you. thank you for your support, guys. Thank you and, for your support. And uh, thank you, Doggle, for coming on to, to the show tonight. It does mean a lot. And, and thank you, Snackers. Great talking to you, man. I want to thank, thank you, Snackers, snackers for being a sexy motherfucker. Thank you, Snackers, yeah. for being one of the coolest guys I've ever met and one of my yeah, first thank friends you, on snackers. Newgrounds. <laughs> he was one of my first friends on Newgrounds, and he has never stopped inspiring me to this day. Thank, thank you, you to Carmet for also being similar in that respect, inspiring you, me every day with every cartoon and art that he's put out and actually getting me my yeah. start in voice acting. Wanda. Uh, and thank Hell yeah. Uh, well, no, Wanda kind of like shot me in the foot a few days ago. He shot me in the oh, ribs and fun. shot me in the brainstem and whatnot. But uh, yeah. no, I All love right, Teddy? Wanda too. Teddy Swiftman? Teddy, uh, I'm going to box him in May, so I'm so kind of a big you. fan of him. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Obama. Right. 
Yeah. Thank you. Obama. All right. Wait. Hold on. Patron question. Thanks, this is the. This is what we'll <laughs> okay. end on. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. This, yeah. This will we'll end, we'll end on for sure. <laughs> bacon. Okay. Uh, okay. Bacon okay. cheeks says, "Dog L, what do you game on?" PC, bitch. All right. There we go. <laughs> Outro go. music. Thank you to my gorgeous <laughs> wife, MK Mafo. I love you very much. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank you for coming by, everybody. This is the Newgrounds podcast. This is the Newgrounds podcast. This Thanks. is the you Newgrounds did, podcast. Hold on. This has, been. this has been this has been the new that <laughs> this all right shall your turn new this has been podcast. the new grounds podcast with your host zinzinix voices by Corey, announcer spadzer and this has been your guest doggo it's me yeah all right let's uh, let's do this all right uh, thank you everyone for showing up the new grounds podcast we have our special guest today dog l and shall's in the why are we still doing well. intros it's the end of the podcast <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Let's fucking go. (laughs) Let's fucking go. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. All right. Alistair, get out of here. <laughs> that, that's Epic it. New Ground Podcast of History. <laughs> what do you guys think about the New Ground Podcast? <laughs> what do you guys think about the, the cast pod with the, the guys from... Hey, the- dog. Dog. Doggle. Doggle. <laughs> hey, yeah. what do you... What do you, uh... Huh? What do you think? What do you think, uh... <laughs> I forgot my fucking question. You're really bad at this. I I I was because Zen, my question it, was about Stinky Steve, but then I fucking I was like, wait, I need to let that go. <laughs> Zen, it, Zen, isn't it true that I was supposed to be an original host of the NGP? Uh no. That's not. No. No, this is. I'm not. No, I'm. I'm straight up not joking. Cam told no. me that I was thought of. Listen, I got the Newgrounds podcast uh, Wikipedia up right here. Oh no, wait, no, on. I might I might be thinking of Grounds Patrol.